Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my second update for the Graveyard Project Pan. This is a collaborative project pan that's here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram and it was started by Emily. Her channel is called Emily and Max and you guys have to go and check out her channel if you're not already familiar with her because she's just the sweetest mama. She has the nicest demeanor and she's just so relatable. She's a fellow Canadian, a fellow project panner. I feel like you guys will absolutely love her just as much as I do. So definitely go and give her a subscription or subscribe to her. Why can't I think of how to <laughs> phrase anything right now? This is gonna be a hot mess, by the way. Yeah, I highly recommend that you go and check her out. Definitely go check out the playlist if you wanna binge watch more content like this. And there is a hashtag over on Instagram. I definitely recommend that you go give it a follow. It's hashtag Graveyard Project Pan. So let's hop into some of the specifics of this project. This is a six month long project pan. We are now in the fourth month of this project. There's only two more months that remain, which means there's one final video in this series and that will be on Halloween day. I love the theme of this project. I'm so happy to be doing it again this year because last year it was an absolute blast for me. I just love everything that's kind of Halloween and spooky and fall. So it just was so, so much fun and it is continuing to be just as much fun again this year. So we have two different categories in this project. The first one being collecting cobwebs. You get to choose products that are being neglected in your collection items that you know you're just not reaching for you haven't been using enough and aren't seeing enough love and then we also have the resurrection category which is items that you're bringing back from previous project pans and i just love everything about this theme i think it's just so fun and so perfect and it's getting me even more amped up for halloween this year i love halloween so yeah let's hop on into all of my progress that i've made over the past two months. How about we start with the Collecting Cobwebs products. The first one I have here is the BFF Volumizing Mascara by Colourpop. This is in the shade Yellow Goodbye, which is a yellow mascara. And I've been working on this since this project began, meaning I've had this in this project for four months. I have had this in my collection though, guys, for like a year and a half, maybe just over a year and a half, which is appalling for a mascara but colored mascaras I just don't use near as frequently as I do like a black mascara but I have to say I am totally considering this an empty now I'm so happy about that because the last two times I tried to wear this I wore it on my lower lash line and I found it was just like flaking really badly at least with a yellow shade it doesn't look so severe on my complexion but I just noticed there is a major change in the formula and I'm just not down with trying to maintain a yellow mascara on my lower lash line. Like I'm just, I'm just not interested. So I'm considering this done. I've had this in my life for far too long and I got a lot of good use out of it throughout this project, which I'm really grateful for. So that I'm considering an empty and I have one other empty as well, which is also in the collecting cobwebs category. And that is my Pacifica Enlightened Gloss in the shade Nudist. This was a beautiful brownie kind of deep peach sort of shade. I don't know how to describe it. It was honestly very comparable to the shade of the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb, the original Gloss Bomb. I used to have that and I felt like this was a very good comparable shade to that one. Texture and formula not quite the same, but the color very, very similar. And it was so flattering. It was so nice and so easy to wear. The scent is a little bit weird on the Pacifica lip glosses, at least this one. I haven't tried like the full range, but the scent was a little bit weird. It wasn't great and the taste was not great either. It always kind of made me hungry, even though it didn't taste like any sort of food or anything like that, which is weird. <laughs> Ended up taking out the stopper probably about a month ago, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell from there, but uh, yeah, she is completely empty. Look, so I popped back in the stopper just so that I could get an accurate representation of the weight, but it is completely empty. I scraped it out with my um, like beauty spatula. I am going to actually clean it out so I can properly recycle this when I have a chance to bring it to a retailer that carries TerraCycle or like has TerraCycle recycling programs instilled in it. But I wanted to keep it like as true to a finished product in this project pan so I could show you guys just how much product I actually used out of this. I used every last possible drop that I could reach and 
I'm really happy. I've definitely come to realize I'm pretty good at panning lip glosses just because the ease of application and that I can wear them in so many different instances. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I can throw on a lip gloss. Lipsticks, on the other hand, are not my forte, but I'm really happy to have used this up and gotten this out of my collection because it wasn't an absolute favorite, but it was definitely plenty good enough to use up and finish. And the last product that's currently in the collecting cobwebs category is this right here. This is my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is a tinted moisturizer and I have mine in the shade Natural 05. This is such a great product. I absolutely am in love with this formula. I have this deeper shade and then I have one lighter shade and I have just been using this so, so much. I honestly, I haven't really been wearing actual foundations. I've been just living in tinted moisturizers. and. Today I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing my First Aid Beauty because I'm kind of trying to like unofficially finish that up as well because it's so close to done. But I've made really great progress on this in any case. Even with not wearing it exclusively as my base, I'm still allowing myself to use other tinted moisturizers from my collection, but I have made amazing progress. I just um, like turned the product upside down and took off the lid and kind of tried to squeeze out as much air as I could without actually squeezing out product and it's down to here. There's this much left in here. I, I believe there's probably still some product stuck on the sides and because I love this formula so much, I know I'm going to end up cutting into the tube and actually just using every last possible drop of this. I may not be completely done with this by the finale just based on how much is remaining in here and the fact that I know I wanna cut into it and use every last little bit of the product but in any case, I'm gonna be able to definitely make pretty significant progress on it so that I can actually finish this up by the end of this year because this does expire in January of 2020, or 2021 rather, and I know that that's just because of the SPF, but I do want to kind of just finish it up by then anyways. I do have other tinted moisturizers I can get use out of next summer, and I would just rather, yeah, use this up by the actual expiry date if possible. So I lied, there's actually one other Collecting Cobwebs product, and that's a really good indicator of how much I remember to use this product. I totally forgot that it was even in this category, and I honestly sometimes forget I'm focusing on it. It is the Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. This is a product that I did repress. It was like a mosaic of like peach and green and white, and it's become this very pale, very faint pink shade, which is really quite brightening, and this product is definitely mattifying. This is the shade 10 Beautiful Finish. I'm not sure if they have multiple shades in this formula, but I don't tend to reach for this because I've just not been preferring a mattified look. I'm gonna keep trying to make some progress on it, and hopefully this is something that I'll be able to get out of my life sooner than later. It just, it really hasn't been prioritized by me because I do usually use a powder. I always use a loose powder under my eyes and I don't tend to use like a pressed powder on my face anymore. It's just not my preference these days. I love the way my skin looks when it's a little bit more dewy. My skin type has changed. It's much more normal than it ever used to be. And yeah, I'm not out in the heat. I'm not out and about running around. So I don't find that my makeup needs to be like locked into place or mattified like I have in summers past. So. Yeah, this is just a product that I don't necessarily need to get use out of, so I just haven't been reaching for it. So let's move on into the resurrection category, and the first item was actually resurrected from Graveyard Project Pan last year. I had it in this project for the full six months of last year, and it is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. My goal last year and my goal this year was to hit pan on it and I've still not done that and for some reason I'm struggling to open it too. I've still not done it. This is like the never ending blush. I've had this in my collection I think for five years and that's kind of embarrassing but that's just a fact. It seems to perform just as great as it did all throughout the rest of its life prior to this. It is the blush that I'm wearing today. I kind of put a bit of a bronzer on as a bit of a base underneath of this because I just feel like I have been really cocktailing my cheek products recently. This half of the pan is so shallow. There's barely any, any product there, and yet I've still not hit pan. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's gonna ever happen for me. I really don't know, but we have two more months of this project. I really wanna hit pan on it, but I've not been using this exclusively. I just am not really in the mood to use any of my products exclusively. That's why I started doing my Shop My Stash, and I just, I can't. I get bored of products. I don't want to force myself to use things, so I haven't been forcing myself to reach for this, but I have been integrating it into so many looks and I've worn it so, so much this summer, so I'm honestly shocked that I've not yet hit pan. Hopefully by October and hopefully by Halloween, we have pan on it, but only time will tell. This final product was also resurrected from a project pan, but I cannot recall what product I had it in in the past. It is my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in the shade Hustla Baby. It's just a mini, it came in the little Fenty Bomb Baby Duo that had this highlighter and the Gloss Bomb. That's how I was able to try out the Gloss Bomb formula. But my goal with this is to finish it up. I did have a pretty significant pan in it last update. And as you can see, the panage is pretty serious, or should I say the panual, like Steph Lyons. I love when she says that. She has the best little catchphrases. But anyways, the panual is pretty significant. I'd love to finish this up. I don't know. I don't know. Am I being super advantageous with this project? I feel like I set myself some pretty, pretty steep goals, but I am definitely making pretty significant progress on this. I'm curious to see the comparison because I haven't looked back on what it looked like two months ago when I rolled it into this project. It might actually be pretty substantial, but I'm happy with my progress on it so far. I've been wearing it a lot like on my shoulders, um, on my cheeks. Today I'm wearing it on the shoulders and I'm wearing it on the top of my cheekbones. I also have it layered on top of a like shimmery blue shadow. And so I had like a nice greeny reflect inner corner to go with my super bold green eyes. And I've been loving it. I think this color is so nice for this time of year. I think this formula is really, really impactful and it definitely offers a ton of shine. So beautiful. Really, really happy to be focusing on it. And hopefully, hopefully I can finish it in the next two months. And because I was able to finish up these two products right here, I am gonna be rolling in two more products to this project pan but I am being kind of realistic because I know that there's only two months left in this project. I'm also working on a lot of other products in my 20 Favorites in 2020 project pan. I'm working on my pan those eyeshadows and roulette pan collab is gonna be starting up in just two weeks or just, uh, just over two weeks time. So I wanna be realistic with myself and set myself some attainable goals. Let's talk about the products that I'm actually gonna be rolling into this project. The first one is for the collecting cobwebs category and it is my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. You guys know this palette, everyone knows this palette, but it's just perfect for this fall time and I do have it currently in my shop my stash and I just felt like Adding it into my shop, my stash for a month is good. It gives me a chance to reach for it, but actually putting it into a project pan kind of makes me feel more like I have to reach for it. And I really do want to reach for this more because this is the second to oldest palette in my collection after my Urban Decay Electric palette. And it does look really loved. Like there definitely is some pan in here and some pretty serious dips in this palette, but I do want to make it look a little bit more used and enjoy it during the fall months as well, or like transitioning into the fall months as well. I think this is perfect to use right until October from here on out. I'd love to make this palette look a little bit more loved. I want it to definitely look like I've used it for two months. And perhaps I'll set myself a goal of hitting pan on one shade. Should I do two? I just said I probably set myself steep goals and I think I'm gonna try to yeah, you know what? Let's hit pan on two of these shades. I don't think that's impossible. The first one here, I know for sure I should be able to hit pan on soon is Vermeer. So I'm just gonna say let's hit pan on Vermeer. And then the other one, I'm just gonna say is up in the air. I don't wanna set myself a specific goal with one of these, but yeah, I do want to hit pan on two, two in the next two months. I think that's totally doable. This formula is quite soft and the pans are not that deep. It's Definitely attainable. Okay, we're gonna hit pan in, in two of these in the next two months. And then the other palette, nope, it's not a palette. The other product that I'm rolling into this project is for the resurrection category, and it is a tiny, teeny little bronzer. This is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Bronze Bondi. I had this in 
my 9 and 2019 project pan last year, I believe, and I didn't hit pan on it, which is shocking. I thought I'd be able to hit pan on it rel like relatively quickly because this is just a mini that came in a 500 point perk from Sephora. It has 1.7 grams of product in it. I must be close to pan. Like this might be something that I hit pan on in a matter of a week or two after rolling it into this project, we'll see. But I must be close. I just feel like I'd love to see another pan in my collection by the end of this year. So why not work on something that's probably already pretty close and I still have not hit my goal on from a previous project. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to hit pan on this in the next two months. I used this an absolute ton last year, so I'm pretty sure I must be close. I've also used it a handful of times over this summer, especially while trying to do all of the rankings for my bronzer ranking video. So yeah, I think I think we're close. I think I should have pan on this by the finale of this video. I'm pretty happy with the progress I have on all of these products and I'm really hoping to hit my goals by the finale of this video. There's one product I'm not happy with and I'm honestly so unsure about and it's this freaking blush. We'll see, we will see if I can actually hit pan on that by this finale. My goodness, but any in any case, you guys should definitely go check out everyone else who's in this project. Let me know if you're doing this project, let me know so I can go check out your video as well or your Instagram account as well. But that is absolutely everything for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.